What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook. And today your girl is in the kitchen turning up this honey butter garlic shrimp pasta recipe in the kitchen fast easy and simple. Make sure you subscribe with it if you have not already and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss an upload. And for all I'm returning goodie on a don't know son of girl love it on a red for cook. Let's cook. Look what prayer can do. Hypocrite and bad mind must slow. The same out to a tear for you. How the same one them would turn round and boo. Yeah. I am me, I use and win. I am me, I use and win. Okay, good is let's cook. We have our shrimp here that has been nicely washed with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. And I did clean my shrimp. You want to be sure that you deveined your shrimp properly. Now we're going to season the shrimp up nice and mellow. I'm using my orange, um, sour orange marmalade here. You could find it in any supermarket. If you don't have this, just go ahead and use an orange. Mix a little bit of lemon with it and right away you have your orange and lemon flavor, right? Now I'm going to add just a tad bit to the recipe. Now I'm, I'm going to also list the amount of whatever I'm using here for the recipe down in the description. So go ahead and check it out. It will be listed there y'all. I got you boo. I got you. Now I'm going to add some salt to it and I'm going to add a pinch of black pepper. All right. You're going to go ahead and use that in there. Don't leave your black pepper out. Now to the salt and pepper, I'm adding some chili powder here. To the chili powder I did go in and add a bit of the paprika now if you have smoked paprika you could add it because it works it gives it a really nice flavor with the smoked paprika okay now I am going to add some onion powder here and combine it with the garlic powder and I do add more garlic powder than I do onion powder to most of the recipes that I do in my kitchen now I do um, have some ultra risk combo seasoning here you could substitute that out for all purpose seasoning and then as far as your seafood season is concerned i'm using this red lobster seafood season of course you could substitute that out as well but i'm going to use this one because this one is the one that i chose to use for this particular recipe all right now i'm going to go ahead and add some cumin powder here okay powder mix then I did go in and add some cornstarch to the recipe as well. Also, if you don't want to use cornstarch, you can use flour. If this flour is what you have, go ahead and kick it up with some flour as well. Cornstarch is better though. Now all I'm doing here is combining all this together, mix everything thoroughly. And once again, goodie, of course, again, you can substitute out the seasons of choice, but not all the season that um, you need to substitute, okay? You cannot substitute the black pepper, the salt, the onion powder, the garlic powder, but you can substitute the seasoning, the, uh, the all-purpose seasoning that I use and make it your own. Now, that is what it looks like when everything is nicely combined. Your season is supposed to be nice and cleaned onto it. Just go ahead and let it sit for about 15 minutes or so, not a whole lot of time. And then we're just going to move on to the next step of the recipe. Fast, easy, and simple. Now, here I have some water going. All I'm doing here is adding some salt to it. And I did add a little bit of oil, all right? Not a lot of oil. Any oil of your choice will work. I'm using here two different types of uh, uh, spaghetti. I'm using regular spaghetti and I'm using whole wheat. I love to combine the two together. Give it a try good and see how it comes out. It is perfect when you do it like this. Just go ahead and pop it in the water. Allow it to cook for maybe about seven minutes. You don't want to overcook it any longer than that because of course you are going to be putting it into the sauce when you're done you'll see why that is how it looks after seven minutes of cooking um perfect just go ahead and drain the water off and sit it aside and for the next step get ready all right perfect now moving right along we have our pan here and we're going to use this pan to combine all the seasonings and flavors together in the pan i'm going to add um some oil here i'm using extra virgin olive oil you could substitute that out as well and to that, I'm adding about four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Of course, you could use salted butter if that's what you want to use. Make your kitchen your own good butter, butter. Then I'm going to go in and add some garlic here, about a tablespoon or so. You want to add more, go ahead and add more. If you're using um, cloves, you want to add about three cloves of garlic here, okay? 
but I use uh, a tablespoon simply because I'm using the one from the bottle. Combine all that together, start releasing this, uh, the flavor from the garlic, and then we go in and we add our shrimp, y'all. Just go in and add all the shrimp at the same time and just watch magic happen. Now your fire needs to be at a medium heat here, all right? Is what you need to do. Do not cover your pot. You do not want this thing to sweat. You want it to fry, but with a nice, delicate kind of a texture, kind of a crispy kind of a texture on the outside and juicy and soft all up on the inside, y'all. That's why I think it's critical that, you know what, Goody? Go ahead and use cornstarch because cornstarch is better for this kind of a textured recipe. Um, yeah, use cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Now, look at what the cornstarch does to the shrimp, right? It gives it a nice little caramelized kind of a color, clinged. This, as you can see, it's not burning, right? So you want to be sure your fire is at medium heat here. But it's going to give the, the cornstarch, give it a nice little crisp, but still kind of soft and delicate all upon the outside. But it does something m magical on the inside, y'all. Perfect. Now, after about, um, I'll say six minutes of cooking, I went ahead and sprinkled some dried parsley on it. If you don't have dried parsley, you might say, go ahead and, add, and just sprinkle some uh, fresh one, whatever greenery, whether it's uh, rosemary. No, listen, make your kitchen your own, okay? Just put some green salt on the thing, and when you're done, that is how it's going to look perfect. Do not let it cook for more than six minutes. After that six minutes, and you can see how beautiful it is. Beautiful, smells amazing, and it's not burnt. You can see how the pot is still nice and clean and no burns here. It's very beautiful, golden brown. Go ahead and just put it aside, y'all, and get ready for your next step, okay? Easy, right, Goody? Fast, easy, and simple. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here, in that same pan, I'm going to go and release the flavor. So I just added a little bit more oil to it, added some more butter, because now we're getting ready to make our sauce. Four tablespoons of butter to be exact. Release the flavor from the bottom of the pan. Add some more garlic to it, honey, because garlic makes everything better. Then I added one can of roasted stewed tomato to the mix. Now, if you don't have roasted stewed tomato, just use a can of any kind of a stewed tomato um, that you could find. Honey, it is going to turn it up a notch. Beautiful flavor, beautiful flavor. Now, what I did was go in and add one large onion, finely chopped, and combine that to the mix as well. Oh my goodness, this thing smells so good, so good. Now, to turn up a bigger notch, I did go in and add one can of coconut cream, y'all. My goodness, oh my, 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 my. When you talk about smell, you can smell uh, that coconut combination with that seasoned boo, turn up. Now we want to give it flavor, so I added some salt here, a little bit of black pepper, I did go in and add some more onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of that good all-purpose seasoning. Just add seasonings of choice and be sure that you go ahead and taste along as you go in just to make sure that you have the right taste buds, the right flavor that's coming back at you, y'all. Just go ahead and just add your seasonings of choice here. I did go in and add some more of the seafood seasoning to the mix as well. And honey, 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 let's add the honey. Could we say honey over here? Go in and make your kitchen happy by adding your honey. And I was generous full with the honey because we are making honey recipe up over here. Just dunk your honey in. Don't be afraid to pour it up in there. Be sure that it comes together and stop bubbling when it looks really bubbling and getting all happy like that go ahead and add some more parsley to your sauce bowl yes mm -hmm. and just go ahead and mix that goodness all together together bowl look at that that's some perfect sauce all right when everything is combined and looks pretty much like that you want to go in and add your cooked your cooked spaghetti bowl and remember I did combine the spaghetti two different kinds of spaghetti here let's go ahead and let's put that bad boy in there 
oh and just go ahead and just start mixing everything in from the bottom to the top just get your sauce all up in that good good y'all and when i'm gonna tell us to the ting turn up the ting turn up let's make sure you get your sauce all up combined all up real good in your spaghetti bowl and after you've combined everything together you want to just let it kind of come to a nice little bubble for about two minutes right not too much because you don't want to have soggy soggy pasta let's make it come together like that and when it starts to bubble then you go in and you add those beautiful lusciously flavored smelling shrimp y'all into the mix and sprinkle with some fresh parsley some fresh chopped parsley combine it let's just say the recipe is over okay let's just say it's finished right here it's time to serve honey but you just want to be sure that you get some of that good sauce on those shrimp do not overcook your shrimp is already cooked remember that your shrimp was already cooked for six minutes so your shrimp no need to cook no longer the thing is finished here look how luscious that is it is fast it is easy it is simple any day of the week y'all get this recipe a try you are going to love it y'all that is it y'all i hope you did enjoy this recipe don't forget to share this recipe with all your friends and family tell them where i want over here bring them comments send them come i'm waiting and when you get done doing all of that tell me where you want to see me i put next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy